morning everybody how are you today are you fine that's great to know what's today today let's see today is monday the first of june this is the first of june yes of the year 2020 okay so Monday, the 1st of June of the year 2020. And how is the weather today? Let's see the weather. How is the weather today? Is it sunny today? Yes, it is. It's sunny. Yes. Sunny. And it's hot. Yes. Sunny and hot. Yes, it's sunny and hot because we have hot, we have warm, and finally we have cold also. Yes, okay. And what about the season? So it's spring yet because summer comes, summer comes. On the 22nd of June or 23rd, I am not sure. Summer is, I am not sure, 22nd or 23rd of June. Yes, summer comes. Okay, very good. Now let's go and do the registration. Is Demophilo here? Yes, he is. Is Samuel here? Yes, he is. Is Raul here? Yes, he is. Is Miguel Angel here? Yes, he is. Is Maria here? Yes, she is. Is Irene here? Yes, she is. Is Adrian here? Yes, he is. Is Tania here? Yes, she is. Is Juan here? Yes, he is. Is Jesus here? Yes, he is. Is Alejandro here? Yes, he is. Is Belen here? Yes, she is. Is Carmen Maria here? Yes, she is. Is Melania here? Yes, she is. Is Natalia here? Yes, she is. Is Maria Jose here? Yes, she is. Is David here? Yes, he is. Is Sarah here? Yes, she is. Is Martina here? Yes, she is. Is Paola here? Yes, she is. Is Alejandro here? Yes, he is. Is Lucia here? Yes, she is. And is Carmen here? Yes, she is. So everybody is today in the class, okay? Let's go. And now we are open our class books and we are going to the beach because we are going to start a new lesson at the beach. What is at the beach? Eh, la playa. Okay, let's go. Hello, Isa. Welcome to Rooftops. I'm the mayor, and here is your host family. You are going to stay with them. Hello, I'm Isa from Spain. Hi Isa, I'm Ben. And I'm Ben's mum. Tomorrow we're going to go to the beach. Oh great, I love the beach. Here's a brochure of the beach. Look, here's a photo of a family going camping. And they're staying in a hotel. He's going fishing. They're having a barbecue. Delicious sausages. This family is having a picnic. He's swimming in the sea. She's finding shells. Those children are making sand castles. She's sunbathing. He's surfing.
Okay, do you like this? I suppose because I know that you love going to the beach. And here you are, the flashcards. Let's go. Go camping. Repeat. Go camping. Have you ever gone camping? Stay in a hotel. Have you ever stayed in a hotel? Go fishing. Had you ever gone fishing? Have a barbecue. Had you ever had a barbecue? Have a picnic. Have you ever had a picnic? Swim in the sea. Have you ever swim in the sea? Find shells. Had you ever found shells? Make sand castles. Have you ever made sand castles? Sunbathe. Have you ever sunbathed? Go surfing. Have you ever gone surfing? Okay, so this this is the new vocabulary. What is this? Beach ball. It's a beach boy. Bucket. It's a bucket. Spade. Spade. Tent. It's a beautiful tent. Caravan. It's a caravan. Rubber dinghy. And a rubber dinghy. Have you beach got, ball. Have you got a beach ball? Yes, I have. Or no, I haven't. Bucket. Have you got a bucket? Yes, I have, or no, I haven't. Spade. Have you got a spade? Yes, I have, or no, I haven't. Tent. Have you got a tent? Yes, I have, no, I haven't. Caravan. Caravan. Have you got a caravan? Yes, I have, or no, I haven't. Rubber dinghy. Have you got a rubber dinghy? Yes, I have, or no, I haven't. Okay, so look at this poster, yes? We have, could you like a sandwich? Lisa, yes, please. Could you like a sandwich, Lisa? Yes, please. Desearías un sandwich, Lisa? Sí, por favor. Okay, here we can see on this poster we can see a lot of things. Can you tell me what can you see? I can see a man who is fishing. I can see a girl who is swimming. I can see a boy who is windsurfing. I can see a man who is sunbathing. I can see a woman who is a lifeguard. Yes, I can see a family who is making, what, yes, this family is making a sand castle. And I can see a family having barbecue and having some sandwiches. Yes, and obviously there is a campsite where there are some tents, okay? Look at the picture. What do you like doing when you go on holiday? What do you like? Do you like going fishing? Do you like swimming? Do you like, uh, for example, making some castles? Or do you like having a picnic? Or do you like going windsurfing? Or do you like going surfing? Or do you like, uh, I don't know, maybe having a barbecue? What do you prefer, okay? Now we are going to do exercise number two. Listening 60. Listen and say the number. Repeat. When I go to the beach. 
I always swim in the sea. Number nine. Okay. Swim Thank in you. the sea. I usually go camping. Number three. Go camping. I never find shells. Five. Find shells. I sometimes stay in a hotel. Number? One. Okay, thank you. Stay in a hotel. I always sunbathe. Number? Seven. Very good. Sunbathe. I usually go fishing. Number? Eight. Go fishing. I never go surfing. Number? Ten. Thank go you. surfing. I sometimes have a picnic. Number four. Thank you. Have a picnic. I always make sand castles. What number is that? Six. Make sand castles. Thank you. I usually have a barbecue. Number Two. Okay, thank Have you. Have a barbecue. Thank you very much. In exercise number three, you are going to copy on the notebook the new vocabulary. Ejercicio 3, copiamos en la libreta el vocabulario nuevo. Si queréis al lado le hacéis un dibujito o lo ponéis lo que significa en español. Remember that have a picnic is... Hacer un picnic, find shirts, encontrar eh, conchas, sunbathe, tomar el sol, go surfing, hacer surfing, stay in a hotel, quedarse en un hotel, go camping, ir de camping, make sun castles, hacer castillos de arena, swim in the sea, nadar en el mar, have a barbecue, hacer una barbacoa, go fishing, ir a pescar, ok? And now we have a question in exercise number four, that is, how often do you find, how often do you find shells when you go to the beach? ¿Con qué frecuencia encuentras concha cuando vas a la playa? When I go to the beach, I never find shells. Cuando voy a la playa, nunca encuentro conchas. How often significa con qué frecuencia. How often do you, con qué frecuencia haces tú algo. Y para responder, decimos when I go, cuando yo hago tal cosa, Yo nunca encuentro concha. For example, si yo os digo, How often do you have a picnic when you go to the beach? The answer is, When I go to the beach, I always have a picnic. For example, How often do you sunbathe when you go to the beach? When I go to the beach, I always sunbathe. How often do you go surfing? When you go to the beach, when I go to the beach, I never go surfing. How often do you stay in a hotel when you go to the beach? When I go to the beach, I sometimes stay in a hotel. How often do you go camping when you go to the beach? When I go to the beach, I rarely go camping. How often do you make sandcastles when you go to the beach? 
When I go to the beach, I always make sandcastles. How often do you swing in the sea when you go to the beach? When I go to the beach, I always swing in the sea. How often do you have a barbecue when you go to the beach? When I go to the beach, I never have a barbecue. How often do you go fishing when you go to the beach? When I go to the beach, I never go fishing. Bueno, pues en este ejercicio quiero que hagáis la pregunta igual que yo la he hecho y vosotros pongáis la respuesta utilizando todas las palabras que aparecen en el vocabulario de arriba. Lo mismo que yo he ido contando con este ejemplo, tenéis que hacer vosotros. And now, page 63. Read and listen. Look at the camp sign plan and find two differences. Listening 61. Sorry, Hel sorry, Hi, sorry. Helen. Tomorrow, we're going to go camping. One moment, please. I'm really... Okay. We're and now, it's ready. Listening 61. Read and listen. Hi, Helen. Tomorrow... We're going to go camping. I'm really excited. We're going to stay in a campsite near the beach. I'm going to swim in the sea every day and I'm going to sunbathe on the beach. There's an area in the campsite for picnics and two areas for barbecues. We're going to have picnics for lunch and we're going to have barbecues for dinner. We aren't going to go fishing because there isn't a place to go fishing at the campsite. Right soon, Issa. Okay, there are two differences. Can't you see the two differences? Did you find them? Okay, let's go and see the differences that they say. Listening 61. Read and listen. Hi, Helen. Tomorrow, we're going to go camping. I'm really excited. We're going to stay in a campsite near the beach. I'm going to swim in the sea every day and I'm going to sunbathe on the beach. There's an area in the campsite for picnics and two areas for barbecues. We're going to have picnics for lunch and we're going to have barbecues for dinner. We aren't going to go fishing because there isn't a place to go fishing at the campsite. Right soon, Issa. Okay, so what differences can you find? There is a barbecue area. Do you think it's there a barbecue area? Because I can see that. Hay una zona de barbacoas? Mm -mm. I don't. I don't think so. Okay, and it's there. I can see. Picnic. I can read it very well, but this is one of the differences. And is there a fishing area? Yes, there is one. Yes, veis que sí que hay. No hay zona de barbacoa, pero sí que hay zona de picnic. These are the two differences. Okay? Y ahora vamos a ver el verbo, el futuro con el going to. I am going to significa yo voy a hacer algo. I'm not going to, no voy a hacerlo. He's going to, él va a hacer algo. She isn't going to, ella no va a hacer algo. We are going to, nosotros vamos a hacer algo. And you are to, nosotros, we are going to, no vamos a hacer algo. ¿De acuerdo? Bueno. Pues ahora vamos a hacer del activity book, page number 55. Look and complete. We have stay in a hotel, swing, 
in the sea, have a picnic, go fishing, sunbathe, go surfing, go camping, make some castles and find chairs. So, activity book, page 55. Del activity book, hacemos la página 55. Una vez que hayáis hecho el ejercicio que con, consistía en colocar el vocabulario en su sitio, lo vais a corregir. ¿Vale? Y nos queda así. We sometimes stay in a hotel. We never go surfing. We usually make some castles. We always go swimming. We usually find chairs. We sometimes go camping. We always go fishing. We always have a barbecue. We sometimes sunbathe. We sometimes have a picnic. Okay? Good. Remember that sometimes era algunas veces 50% de posibilidades de hacer algo. Never, nunca. Usually is 75, 75%. Y always 100%, que significa 100% de posibilidades para hacerlo. El ejercicio número 2, si queréis, lo podéis hacer con alguien de la familia. Porque, claro, por compañeros, no sé, o a lo mejor llamáis por Skype para hacerlo. Entonces, os tenéis que preguntar, when, it, when You go to the beach. Do you stay in a hotel? Yes, we do. We always stay in a hotel. Pues lo mismo tendría que preguntar. Eh, when, when we go to the beach, do you go camping? When you go to the beach, do you make some castles? Se lo podéis preguntar a alguien de la familia. O bien se lo podéis preguntar a un compañero si hacéis videoconferencia. O ya os visitáis, bueno, os veis. Eh, write about your partner. Every summer, Cristina, for example, goes to the beach and she stays in a hotel. She never eh, goes camping. She always makes some castles. Com copiamos. Pues lo que habría salido con respecto a mi compañero o con respecto a la persona de mi familia a la que se lo he preguntado. ¿Ok? So that's all for this week. Bye bye. Have a nice, great, a nice and great day. See you.